that is that is definitely the thing you know especially here in here in britain there are a lot of guys who know when they convert to orthodoxy and they they really obviously they have this yearning for pre-schism britain they want to see authentic christianity restored to britain mm. they might even talk about how they think um well it's britain needs its britain needs its own patriarch you know if we're going to grow it here but it's like you rightly say it it has to be built from the ground up it's like well let's start getting yeah. Englishmen, Welshmen, Scotsmen, um, mm -hmm. and Irishmen back into Orthodox Church, you know, in in absolutely unprecedented numbers. Yeah. And then what do you end up with? Well, then you end up with services in Welsh and English and Gaelic, um, etc. And uh, and then eventually, you know, enough hundreds of thousands, then then you are talking a, a patriarch of Great Britain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I think what we struggle with so much is that that will not happen in my lifetime. It's something we want to see, but now we've got to realize <laughs> we're just really at the very beginning of something here in Britain. Well, you see, and it's, it's another, it's another topic that raises that, that famous uh, thorn in the flesh of pride. Um, yes, you want it in your language, but you better know that it might not happen in your lifetime. Well, you're not living for yourself. You're living for your children and your grandchildren. Then they'll have it in your language. So we mustn't be so selfish and arrogant and prideful and demanding for our own needs. Uh, stick it out because you're not living for yourself. You're living for, for, for the next generation and the generation after. Um, and if you're going to give up now, then it's never going to happen. So you must stick it through. Uh, let me just add something that I want to add for interest sake, something that I found amazing when I became Orthodox. Uh, like I just said, my, my own church uh, mostly has services in Greek, and now and again we swap between English. We've never had an English service that, I've, that I'm aware of in this country. But what's ironic, though, is we already in South Africa have the full liturgy translated in Afrikaans. So in my mother language of Afrikaans, the liturgy exists. It was done by a couple of priests who came from Afrikaans background years ago already. I, I think almost, I think 30 years ago, if not more. So, and that to, I never have to hear the liturgy in Afrikaans. The fact that the effort was made and it already exists gets me very excited. And I'm like, okay, well, God doesn't mess around. If the liturgy exists, then it's going to be done at some stage, might not be in my life. But now one of the things that need to happen is Afrikaans people need to convert so we can have enough Afrikaans people who can justify an Afrikaans liturgy being, being served. So uh, I was hyper, hyper um, encouraged by that. I mean, let me ask you a question. Do you guys have the liturgy in Welsh already? So you can hear the full liturgy in Welsh. It has been, it has oh, it been translated it exists. Welsh. You can actually okay. go on YouTube, yeah, and you can hear the whole thing. Um, oh, perfect. In, yeah, in Welsh, uh, which, is, which is awesome. And then obviously, like, like your service is Greek with bits of English. Our service is English with bits of Welsh and Greek. You yeah, know. it's good. Um, it's great. I love that. No, it is. It is. And I suppose it's interesting. This is another thing when it comes to the to the language topic that I think we forget a lot of the time, right? When we look at pre in Britain, people were going to church. They weren't hearing the liturgy in in Anglo-Saxon Old English. They were hearing it in Latin. Yes. You know, which only the clergy present spoke. Yes. <laughs> so it's... Um, and... Uh, and there was no problem with church attendance for them. No, you know clearly. Yeah, they couldn't so, even they couldn't even read and write, but they went. Yes. But they went because they believed and because they loved God, and uh, that's what we all should have. But now, with you just saying that now, I mean, consider the fact how far the church has come. Because for all the nonsense we've had with schism and Protestantism and world wars and all that stuff, we are sitting at a time where, for instance. Uh, the liturgy is already existing in Welsh. So mm -hmm. the Welsh people, the original faithful from 1,200 years ago, didn't have that, but we have it. Uh, it exists in Afrikaans. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. So there's actually a lot of development that has happened, which we don't always realize 
you know, the magnitude of. Yeah, yeah. Well, exactly, exactly. I'm hearing every week, I'm hearing the Divine Liturgy in English, which is something the English of a thousand years ago didn't have <laughs> likely didn't get to do. You yeah. know? <laughs> so, so already, already, wow, what great strides. Um, I didn't think of that. Having having thought of that, it makes the entire question redundant because it's like, well, if you want to restore true orthodox, to, true British orthodoxy yeah. to Britain, well, you know, you're going to have your Western right. It's going to be in Latin. So if you want to understand your liturgy, you know, better better crack out your Latin textbook and get going, which I don't think anyone will, yeah. you know. So there we will still be at the end of the day with our book reading English yeah, yeah, yeah. next to the Latin yeah. yeah, and I mean, ultimately, just think of think of God himself. God doesn't speak Greek or English or anything. So how are we going to interact with him? Primarily, we're going to interact with him in faith and in love. And uh, he will help us interact with him on our level. So, yeah, we must stop prescribing to God how things must happen and rather just pray and trust. And uh, like I said, be the answer then, you know. If you need more Afrikaans people in your church, well, then be the Afrikaans person in your church. Don't use it as an excuse not to go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.